Hey guys, it's Bub here. And in this video, we're taking a look at quite possibly the smallest version of Windows 11 ever. Now on this channel, we've taken a look at two tiny versions of Windows 11. One was Nexus Lite OS 11, and I totally forget the other one's name. But they both reduced your install size down to about 6 gigabytes. This promises to cut it down to at most 2. So before we actually get into taking a look at the operating system, this is who made it. D4N1EL, I'll link this video in the description, with 71 subscribers, um, June 26, 2022, so this is roughly a month old build, and I mean, this is, this is what it is, um, his video basically just outlines, and it looks like standard Windows 11, so I'm actually excited to take a look at this, let's go ahead and boot into the OS and get it installed, although before we do that, because I totally forgot, the file itself is only 1.33 gigabytes, which is significantly smaller than a standard Windows 11 or even a Windows 10 install. Those have gotten up to about 5 gigabytes recently. Um, that's a pretty big install size. And here we are. So obviously this is using a Windows 10 installer. It's not using the Windows 11 one because it would have said that our PC is not compatible. And it also had the Windows 10 startup logo. But now we're installing, this should go relatively fast because one, it is a tiny installation, and two, it's on an SSD. All right, so it's been about five minutes and we've just been stuck at this just a moment screen. I'm not really sure why. Um, it was obviously stuck, it wasn't doing anything. So hopefully restarting is gonna fix that. Otherwise, we're gonna have to find a new download. And there we are. So the first thing I notice is the out of box experience does not have that default wallpaper, it is just white which probably was removed to save some space. Instantly, we skipped the Microsoft account setup. They went straight into creating a local account, which is perfect. I'm so glad that they took that out. I honestly miss when Windows just asked you for a username and didn't ask you to sign in with a Microsoft account. That was, that was really nice. So it looks like the preparing Windows has been brought to this. Usually this is something you see like on the lock screen, right? But instead they brought it here. I'm not really sure what's what it's doing. Hopefully we don't get stuck here like we did the last time. I hope. And here we are inside of Tiny11. So the first thing I want to do is just take a look at the installed size before I put anything else on here. And we are using 3.6 gigabytes. I thought we were supposed to have less than... Okay. Well, it's still better than the last um, custom Windows versions we've taken a look at. So now let's install VMware Tools and just see where that gets us. And then we'll take a look at the specifics, like why this is the old file explorer and what specific version of Windows we're running. Hopefully VMware Tools installs. I can't remember if VMware Tools worked on Tiny10 or not. I think they did. I'm only saying that because I know that Tiny10 removed a lot of important stuff. And here we are inside of Tiny11. So first things first, let's take a look at what version this is actually running. So this is actually up to date. This is 22,000.708. The newest is 795 as of this video. So we're not too out of date. Um, taking a look just firsthand, pre-installed apps, that's it. File Explorer, Get Started, Notepad, Paint, Settings, and Windows, the literal basic Windows tools. That is it. I am, in sh I am shocked. Um, is Okay, Windows Search doesn't even work. That was taken out. Um, okay, wow. So this really is bare bones Windows 11. So now that VMware Tools is installed, we are using. Okay, we're using four gigs now, which is still less than the other one. So let's just scroll around. Let's take a look at some things. Um, Windows Update has just been completely removed from the menu because typically you click on it, it would go, oh yeah, you can't update. No, it's just gone. You can't even see it which is really interesting. Um, obviously remove the safe space. Um, clicking on this, okay, typical Windows stuff, and your typical clock fly out. Um, if I go to personalized, we probably don't have any wallpapers. Nope, we don't have any themes. We don't have any wallpapers. <laughs> and I think, I wanted to look, is this Pro? Okay, yeah, this is Windows 11 Pro. I totally forgot to look at that. Um, so, I mean, this literally is bare bones, probably designed for more of like a ThinkPad, like, and like one of the older thick Core 2 Duo ThinkPads is probably what this is more geared towards. 
Um, but again, no Windows updates, which I know that takes up a lot of space, but Windows updates are crucial for keeping your system secure. Um, of course, he linked his YouTube channel and his archive.org, which I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to open these because VMware Tools has basically taken taken it over and I don't there's no Internet Explorer and there's no um, edge or any default browser like typical Windows installations can we get like widgets and chat back oh no they're gone they're they're gone they're not even an option to be re-enabled which is wow that's really interesting so this is literally it um, I mean you can obviously tell how smooth everything is I mean just how quick things open um, there's not really a lot to open but just look at that because this is a tiny Windows install, that's basically it. So this was Tiny11. If you like the video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.